Assalamu alaikum class and a very good morning. How are you all? I hope all of you are doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, Miss is also doing fine. Class, are you doing your most important thing in your life? You must be wondering what is that most important thing that Miss is asking about. Well, I'm talking about studying. Are you doing that? If yes, then excellent, keep up the good work. Students, today in our class, we'll be learning something new and fun. But before starting our class, I want to introduce myself to you. I am your BJST teacher and I am Kadusna Fariha from Sector 4 branch, Uttara, Maestroni School and College. With this introduction, let's start our class now. So students, welcome to my class. Today, our class number is 25. Hurry up, write down the CW number on your copy and do not forget to write the date as well. Today, we are going to have another class on the chapter named Economy of Bangladesh. So, what are our class objectives today? I'm pretty sure by the end of the class, all of you will have a clear idea about the topic as well as you will be able to answer one word questions regarding the topic that we are going to learn today and the students will be able to answer any question related to it. So, what are we going to cover today? Today we will be solve two extra creative questions. This is the first extra creative question you can see on the screen. So, let's read out the stem first and we have to understand what the stem is demanding if you understand the stem very clearly you can easily find what will be the question and what the question is asking you for let's read the stem farzana lives in village she is a widow and has three children she works in the field and cultivating the land to grow rice potato chili and various kinds of crops she maintains her family expenditure by the work and also saves money by selling surplus products. Surplus means extra products. By using your products, what remains is known as surplus. That means we can see that here, Farzana is a woman or female who is living in a village and she is a widow and her works is related with the farming agriculture and she is living in a village so let's see what are the questions the first question is knowledge based question what percentage of population of bangladesh lives in urban areas second what do you mean by service sectors c number question is there any contribution of Farzana to economy of Bangladesh? Explain. Question number D. Farzana is the reflected of the works of rural economy. Explain. Now we will solve the creative question number one. So let's begin. The first question was what percentage of the population of Bangladesh lives in the urban areas? This question answer you will find directly in your book and that question answer is about 30 percent people of the population live in urban areas so you have to write about 30 percent people of the population live in urban areas please do not just write 30 percent people it is not incorrect but it is not a proper way to write the answer of the question. You have to write the full line for answering the question. The second question was service sector. What do you know by service sector? Explain. So, first of all, you have to start writing the answer by giving the knowledge based idea from your book. And you can write it like this. With the introduction, like other countries, we have our economic sector. 
Our economic sector includes agriculture, industry, trade and commerce, and service. This is from your book. We have our own economic sector, and our economic sectors are divided into four portions. One is agriculture and industry, trade and commerce, and service. Then you can write, among the service sector has its own importance in our economic sector. With this, you are done with giving the knowledge-based idea to your teacher. Then you can explain the service sector. The service sector idea you can have from your book. Like, there is some paras, there is a para that is from your book that is about the explanation of service sector. You have to read the economic sectors of Bangladesh as well. So, then you can describe the service sector in a manner that service sector plays an important role in the economy of any country. Education, healthcare, housing, transport or communications, bank insurance, public administrations, law enforcing agencies are the example of service sector. This sector is run by both public and private enterprise. The more a country is developed and more importance is given on public welfare, the more vigorous is the service sector there. In our previous lesson, when we are we were learning about the about the chapter and about the service sector we knew the service sector is very much important for the better lifestyle of a people in a country if the service sector is improved that means the lifestyle of the people of that country is improved you can also write these things in this explanation of the service sector that will cover the answer of the question number B. Let's move. The C in our question was about, is there any contribution of Farzana to the economy of Bangladesh? Explain. In our stay, I am again reminding you about the stay. We saw Farzana is a widow, widowed woman who works in the village and her works related with the urban activities. Am I right or am I wrong? Is Farzana's activity related with urban activities? No. Farzana's activities are related with rural activities because she is living in village and her activities related with agriculture sector. So, yes, it is clearly be seen that Farzana's contribution has the better impact in our economic sector. We have to explain it. So, for writing the answer, you have to give the introduction first where you have to cover the knowledge-based idea as well. Let's see how you can write the answer of the question. You can start with introduction in such a manner that like other countries, we have our own economic sector. Our economic sector includes agriculture, industry, trade and commerce, and service. This will cover your knowledge-based idea about the question. Then, Ferdinand's work is included to agriculture sector. And with this, you are completely giving your teacher the idea that you have understood what the question is asking you for. By saying that, Farzana's work is included to agriculture sector. This is the most important line of your introduction. Then you can start writing by describing about agriculture sector that you will find in your book. Then, you can add with contribution of agriculture sector in our economy. Like, agriculture sector fulfills the demand of the local people. This is the contribution of our agriculture sector in our economy. 
Then, agriculture sector supplies raw material. Suppose our farmers stopped working. In that case, what would happen? The whole nation would starve. Think about recent situation. People are now preparing themselves for famine because the farmers cannot work or cannot cultivate on the land. So, we are hoping that there will be a scarcity of the food. This is how agriculture sector is playing its importance in our economic sector. Agriculture sector not only supplies raw materials, but also these raw materials are very much important for our industrial sector as well. Like sugar mill. Sugar mill is an industry where they produce sugar, but for that we need sugar cane. And who produces sugar cane? Farmers. So, sugar cane here is a raw material for the sugar mill. That is why we can say that agriculture sector supplies raw material. Not only that, at present it is difficult to buy food grains from the world market and beside, the price of the food grain is very high. So, there is no alternative but to be self-sufficient in food. So, by working in agriculture sector, Farzana is contributing in economy of Bangladesh. Saying that, you can sum up your answering the question number C. Here, there is a portion is given from your book. You can also write your idea from your book from this para, which is written in such way that from the ancient time, agriculture has been playing a key role in the economy of Bangladesh. Even today, most of the people depend on agriculture for their livelihood. Paddy, jute, tea, pulse, ruby crops. Ruby crops is one kind of crops. Producing vegetables and fruits, forest resources, livestock rearing, PC culture are considered as agriculture sector. PC culture is about fishing. That means business of fish or rearing fish. The contribution of agriculture in our national economy is more than 20%. So, you can also add the idea from your book as well. And you can see that our economy, in our economy, agriculture is contributing 20% of it. So, Farzana's work must and obviously contributing in our economical sector. Now, we will move to the fourth number question of your first creative question number one and that is, Farzana is the reflected of the works of rural economy. Explain. Obviously, Farzana's work reflection of the works of rural economy and for writing the answer of this question, you have to explain it. So, here is how you can start writing your answer of the creative question number D. Bangladeshi people have two kinds of economic way of life. One is rural economy and another is urban economy. Most of the people of rural areas are farmer like Farzana. She is reflecting the work of rural economy. By saying this, you are covering your knowledge-based idea for answering the question. Then, in the second para, you can write some idea that you have got from the stain. That means, you have to write the ideas of the stain in your second para. And we have seen in the stain that Farzana is a widowed woman who is living in village and she is cultivating on the land and growing various kind of crops along with vegetables. So, this is how you can give the idea to your teacher. Then, you have to match your answer in the context of the book with STEM. Like, most of the people of our country are living in villages and their main occupation is agriculture. Even those who do not have any land of their own, they can work on other lands. Thus, several of people are directly depending on the agriculture sector 
For this reason, Bangladesh is an agro-based country. And then you can add other rural works that include in rural economy as well. Like in our rural areas, people not only work in the agriculture sector, but also there are people who are blacksmith, who are potter, and who have who have engaged themselves in other works as well. You can write that from your book and you have to draw the conclusion then. And in the conclusion, you can say that Farzana's work match with the work of the rural economy. So we can see and we can say that she is reflecting the work of rural economy. That is how you can write the answer of the question number D of creative question number 1. Now we will move to the second creative question. Let's see the stem first. Here you can see there is one question mark in the circle of the middle of the picture. And then there are farmer, potter, weaver and fisherman. Now let's see what are the questions. First of all, what is economic way of life? Then, why is service sector important in economic sector of Bangladesh? Then, which economy of Bangladesh is indicated by the question mark area? Explain. D number questions. Evaluate the importance of the mentioned economy. That means, for the D number questions answer, you have to evaluate of the importance that is mentioned in the question mark. So you have to first think, think about that what is the economy that is mentioned in the question mark area. So let's start solving the question number two. KD question number two. First, a number answer. What the a number question was that what is economic way of life? So you have to memorize it from your book and in your book it is written like that. The economic work done by any society or a group of people as livelihood is called the economic way of life. So this is how you can write the answer of the first question by giving the definition of economic way of life. I'm again saying the definition. The economic work done by any society or a group of people as livelihood is called the economic way of life. The second question here is same as the previous second number question of creative number one. Here is also their demanding for the importance of service sector. So you can write the answer as same as before. Like other countries, we have our own economic sector. Our economic sector includes agriculture, industry, trade and commerce, and service. Among them, service sector has its own importance in our economic sector. So this is how you are giving the knowledge-based idea to your teacher that you know about the economic sector and service sector is one of them. You also know about this. Then you can write about the service sector. Like service sector plays an important role in the economy of any country, education, healthcare, housing, transport or communications, bank insurance, public administrations, law enforcing agencies are the example of service sector. This sector is run by both public and private enterprise. The more a country is developed and more importance is given on public welfare, the more vigorous is the service sector then. So, by Saying this, you can sum up writing the answer of the question number two. I'm not describing it further as I've already described about the service sector for the previous question number two of the creative question one. So let's begin with the C number answer of the creative question number two. The C number question was about that what was mentioned in the question mark area explain. So you have to find out that which economy is actually have is actually mentioned in the question mark. So you have to start writing with answering this specific question in your answer. It will 
give your teacher the idea that you have understood the question and you know what the question is demanding you from demanding from you so the rural economy is indicated by the question mark area so the question mark area is about the rural economy why is that we have seen that around the question mark there are some occupations which are included farmers weaver potter and fishermen and this all the occupations are related with the occupation of rural area that is why the question mark will be here about the rural economy then you have to describe the reason why this is rural economy by describing the each and every occupation that had mentioned in the stem fisherman farmer potter and weaver these occupations can be seen in the rural areas and people mostly in the rural areas are involved themselves in the agriculture sector but still there are some people who has engaged themselves in other occupations as well like fisherman potter blacksmith and so on and you can also add the idea what you have read from your book and then you have to describe the rural economy by describing the rural economy you can sum up writing the answer of the c and then move on to the fourth number question of the creative question 2 here you can say that we can start writing about that Bangladeshi people have two kinds of economy way of life. One is rural economy and another is urban economy. Most of the people of rural areas are engaged in agriculture sector. That is, that is how you are writing the knowledge based idea of the question. Then you can start writing about the description of the rural economy and you will find it from your book. Please go through your book and read the chapter first. Then sit for solving the creative question. Otherwise, you won't understand and it will be same difficult to you to solve. After describing the rural economy, you have to write the importance of rural economy. That how the rural economy is, is contributing in our economy. Like fulfilling that food demand what will happen without this economy we have already learned that rural economy is very much important in our economy because most of our economy mostly depending on the agriculture sector and rural economy where most people are doing farming or have engaged themselves in the agriculture so they are actually working for fulfilling our food demand so if they stop working we will starve to death there will be scarcity of food and we have already learned that the food grains price in the world economic market and world market is so high so it is it is generally somewhat it is somewhat tough for us to buy food grains at a higher price rate to fulfilling the demand for the huge number of people so it, it will be better for us if we become self-sufficient in the food sector see here is answering your the question that what will happen without this economy that will create shortage in food sector famine will break out industry and other economic sector will not flourish we have already known that our food sectors or agriculture sector not only is fulfilling the demand of food of the people of Bangladesh but also it is creating the raw materials for the industrial sector. So without the rural economy our industry and other economic sectors will not flourish as well. So these are the mainly importance of the rural economy. You can then write the conclusion and here is also the importance of rural economy that is given from your book it is goes like that it, it goes like that the greater portion of our demand for foods come from agriculture and the village people are the main producers 
If the production of food is less in any year, then the shortage is fulfilled importing food grains from foreign countries. Otherwise, famine will break out in the country. The main source of industry raw materials of the country is rural agriculture sector, that is, trade and commerce, and employment depend mostly on the rural economy. In this way, rural economy is still acting as the main basis of our national economy. These are, this has been writing in your book. So you can have you can give the answer by having the idea from your book as well. So for writing the answer, you have to go through your book chapter first, then solve the creative, creative questions answer. I'm again saying you, you have to read the chapter first. Now, after solving the two creative questions, now it is time to give you the homework. There are five MCQ you can see on the screen. Please solve this. Along with this, learn the answer of the CQ, solve the MCQ, and you have to learn and write, explain the role of the state to develop the country. So students, that's all for today's class. I hope all of you have understood what we have learned in our today's class. But one thing I want to warn you before finishing our class, and that is, don't forget to do your homework and don't forget to learn your lesson every day. With this, I'm ending the class. Thank you for staying with me.